Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live and i uh, got some very serious things going on with both North Korea and Ukraine. Believe it or not, both places are hot spots right now on planet Earth. And uh, we do apologize for the resolution on the screen here. I'm in a hotel with an older uh, television set up here, but at least this way we can kind of give you a, a bird's eye view of what we are seeing as well. This article here on NBC, North Korea, U.S. mainland within our target range for missiles. Uh, that's what North Korea is saying now with their latest ICBM test there that has really gotten the United States up in arms there. In fact, Rex Tillerson uh, is saying in another news article there on Fox News that China and uh, Russia are the enablers of North Korea in the program that they're doing pretty much doing nothing but blaming both China and Russia for the for North Korea's uh, latest and greatest technology, not so much that they supplied them with the technology, but the fact that they're not stopping them from continuing these tests. According to Rex Tillerson, it seems that Russia and China do have the ability, do have the economic uh, uh, stranglehold in the case of China to be able to stop Kim Jong-un in his tracks there, and they're not doing enough to do so there. But as we've stated before on Israeli News Live, you have to remember that China has a signed military pact with North Korea to protect it from any aggression from any nation in the world, and as well as North Korea with China. This happened after the Korean War there, and of course the United States vowed to protect South Korea. Nowhere near to the extent of what China promised in writing to protect North Korea. So that makes it a very close alliance. And then of course, latest uh, words that came out of Russia, say, Russia saying that they would protect North Korea and give them guarantees as well if they would work with their, uh, their uh, nu nuclear program. Uh, so therefore they have two nations backing them. As we've said often before, Daniel 1144, tidings out of the east and out of the north, greatly trouble him or cause him anxiety. The king of the north, a NATO king, is what we're talking about right there. So let's move on to the other news as well. I want to share with you one more thing here, and that is Ukraine. Ukraine is becoming a hot spot right now. We've seen this with already happened. He was showing you, showing us the other day. Wanted to bring that out to you again. This is U.S. military uh, right there. They're in Poland there. This convoy is very close to the Ukrainian border. And so this is what we're seeing right here, this convoy here of U.S. military equipment there on the border of Ukraine inside of Poland there. And, you know, that's just a bit far away from uh, uh, the Russian border or Lithuania or, or, uh, or Kaliningrad or anything like that. So it kind of lets you know that uh, maybe the U.S. is getting ready to uh, back Ukraine in their latest offensive. And by the way, Donetsk is taking a heavy beating today. They are under a major attack once again from Kiev. So you can't help but wonder what's going on. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have a little bit of a slow down where we're at right now. We're trying to get down to Georgia there, ran into a little bit of issue there as far as the transportation. It looks like we may have to fly down there. We were hoping to drive down there, ran into a little issue on that there. Pray for us. We'll get all that worked out. Won't be a big issue. Uh, just a matter of uh, one day longer delayed in our trip there to head to Georgia to prepare for the conference. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and God bless you.